You know, the name of this uh, committee today is Failures and Incompetencies. So let's talk about the big Kanesh, right? The chairman's failed impeachment. Let's remember, we, placed, we misplaced an informant over a year ago, couldn't find him, didn't know where he went. Another informant was indicted for providing false information that came from Russian intelligence. We used a second informant who was a, turned out to be an indicted Chinese foreign agent. And to top it off, the chairman was like, who could we find to make it even better? Maybe we can get someone to testify from prison, which actually we did here on Zoom. Here is the chairman's 300-page book report on impeachment. He said in his release, it is the strongest case for impeachment of a sitting president the House of Representatives has ever investigated. Wow, that, that sounds pretty serious. So it, the, I want the chairman to show the American people that we didn't just waste millions of taxpayer dollars to issue this book report. The, the, Mr. Chairman, the, the speaker is watching. You could call for impeachment right now, right? We got a little bit of time left before, before the election. I mean... You know, just ask the speaker. You could ask the speaker right now, or talk to him. Like, when, when are we going to schedule impeachment? Or is this just concepts of impeachment? Right? No? Okay. I mean, I'm just here to help him, right? And so I just think we should do it today. Let's just call for it. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I want to help you out. You can second it, right? Like, make the motion to impeach President Biden. Go ahead. It's your turn. So you second it. No, nothing. Okay, we got nothing. So I want to, with my last couple of minutes, show the American people that they're never going to impeach Joe Biden. It's never going to happen because they don't have the evidence. Okay, this is a show. It's all fake. They just want to do these hearings. It's not leading to impeachment. They're lying to their base on Newsmax and Fox, leading these people to believe that they're going to eventually impeach the president. It's not going to happen at all, ever. Period. They don't even have the votes, even if they had it in committee. They don't have the votes on the floor. They know that. They got members resigning rather than taking a vote on the fake faux impeachment. Just ask Ken Buck, who said the speaker ain't going to get me to take an unconstitutional impeachment vote. 